Assalamu alaikum friends. I hope you are happy, healthy and enjoying your life. Today our lecture is branches of linguistics. This one is the continuation of the lecture 3 where we have discussed descriptive and prescriptive linguistics. But now in this lecture we are talking about the remaining uh, items. These are comparative and historical linguistics and applied linguistics. I hope you are clear about uh, the lecture 3 that is based on uh, descriptive and prescriptive linguistics. Now we are moving to the next uh, things. These are written here. So let's start. Comparative linguistics studies language from comparative point of view. It is based on cyclonic description of language and it involves comparing and classifying relevant and defining features of the shared languages. Similarly, it can be classified and compared according to three different principles. Those are genetic, typological and aerial. Genetic classification is the language family, which is the set of languages for which it can be proved that they develop from a single ancestor called the proto language of that family. And aerial classification is the language area for which it can be shown that they developed number of features as consequences of mutual contact. And typological classification is the language type which refers to the set of languages that they share some typological relevant set of features. In comparative linguistics, as I have mentioned earlier, we compare and contrast languages. So let's have a look on the example. If Urdu is contrasted with Hindi and Tamil with Telugu, such type of discussion comes under the discussion and studies of comparative linguistics. Historical linguistic studies language development and change from the historical point of view. It studies the ways in which languages are changes from period to period and the causes and effects of that changes. Similarly, historical linguistic studies the changes that take place in English from Old English to the Middle and then Modern English. These all changes that are studies uh, from one English to the next period of English are studies under the heading of historical and comparative linguistics. However, historical linguistic is based on diatonic description of language and comparative linguistics is based on synchronic description of language. Historical linguistics studies language diachronically and it describes language according to diachronic point of view and uh, comparative linguistics are a comparative study of language describe language cyclonically. These two terms are given by Saussure in 1916 to describe a stage of language at a given time and the changes that take place during the passage of time. Cyclonic description is non-historical and diachronic description traces the historical development of language. Applied linguistics is uh, the next important branch of uh, linguistics that we are going to discuss now. Cook defines applied linguistics as the academic discipline concerned with the relation of knowledge about language to decision making in the real world. Its domain is wide from foreign language and teaching to language disorder. Similarly, using language to achieve some purpose or solve some problem in the real world is also called applied linguistics. Next definition is given by Corder. 
that is utilization of the linguistic research based knowledge for the improvement of linguistic task where language is the central component and the final one is given by grab in 2002 which is the major concern of applied linguistic is on solving language based problem of the real world ranging from academic and business to the global world let's talk about scope of linguistics cook defines the scope of applied linguistics the first one is language and education second one is language and law third one is language and society and the fourth one is language and psychology in language and society i have given some subtypes for students of uh, linguistics and uh, this one is dialects registers language and speech community applied linguistic is not limited to these areas only but it has wide scope and major concern where language is the basic component so this one is the last slide where some references are given thank you for your time and your consideration please subscribe this channel for updated videos on language and linguistics